it is too soon to be releasing this trailer. As someone who has nothing better to do than sit in this chair all day, I am still having nightmares. Not of this bizarre island of Dr. Moreau hybrid of a movie smurf and Skeeter from Doug, but because the company actually pulled the movie from release to fix the effect. Well, what the hell? What am I supposed to complain about now? Complaining is all I have, and Paramount took that away from me. Guess I'm gonna have to go into this new Sonic trailer with a fresh set of digitally changed eyes. Uh... No, no, wrong, all wrong. Although something about this is giving me the crave. I'm Sonic, a little ball of super energy in an extremely handsome package. Great, sounds like my drug dealer's out of prison. What's this new product he's trying to push on me now? We hear plenty of Sonic's voice this time. Now for a game of let's pick the voice. Is it Ben Schwartz, John Mulaney, David Cross, or the 1979 melodrama Dreamer? Oh, it's Ben Schwartz. Sorry, Dreamer. Maybe you can voice Bubsy. In this, Sonic comes from the planet Trolls, where there's a plot. On my planet, people were always after my powers. So I came to yours. <laughs> I wonder who the hell is after him. I will find him! <laughs> okay, woof. This is about to get really dark. They are gonna torture him Sonic Forces style. Sonic appears to kill time on Earth, furiously masturbating and other activities. Ow! Again, all wrong. Everyone knows that Sonic is a master of jujitsu. You're just gonna have to take my word for it because I am very angry, thus making me incredibly knowledgeable. I hope this is the whole movie. Like Sonic woke up 90 years too early on his hibernated trip to Earth and is playing every single Sonic spin-off game. Maybe now I can finally learn how to beat the machine level in Sonic Spinball. He's got a friend though. James Marsden will be our Jason Lee of the film. They're coming for me. If they steal my power, they could conquer the universe. You have to help me. No, I don't. Dude, you're gonna win every Olympic game ever. You're both gonna be rich. Oh, right, the villain, definitely gonna be Dr. Robotnik, but I was hoping they'd surprise us with Mephiles the Dark. Good morning, my rural chum. Mr. Dr. Robotnik. Hello, I'll be your best part of the movie. Hope this doesn't lose focus by taking too much speed. Oh my god, stop the car right now! What? what? The world's largest rubber band ball? We gotta see it! No, eh, you're right. It was lame. Get this movie is more ADHD than me, although that was... Kinda funny. Let's see Jim Carrey top that! Ah! Of course I want a latte. I love the way you make them! <laughs> well, point taken. This has timeless classic written all over it. Although I question the lesson it's teaching children, that it's okay to be your own cheat code. It's a movie for those who wanted Hop to be more like your sugar-rushed nephew that you're stuck in a car with on a 200-mile road trip. And that doesn't even matter because that person killed himself years ago. Why would you throw your life away for this silly little alien? Good time. He's my friend. Don't try to have heart. You're on your third heart attack from all the coffee you drink. Just in case you're not sold yet on this improvement on the first trailer. Well, I don't see the appeal. That is very gross! Let's go! It's got a dog in it. There you go, dog internet. Go see our movie! Only you're gonna have to be the one to follow it around with a bag and clean up after it. I'm giving this movie points on a few things. Using real songs in the trailer instead of emo-ass cover versions. Imagine if it looked like this. I see trees of green. Mmm, deep like Sonic running in place and traveling to the Earth's core deep. It doesn't matter if this trailer is a funny improvement or not, the point still remains that the studio put playing with fire in its original release slot as a placeholder and look at the psychological trauma that that movie put on its audience. Don't worry, I'll still be there. I'm sure it'll be way sexier than the Addams Family movie. Plus, who doesn't want to see the movie adaptation of Sonic 06? Finally, adapting a bad game. The only direction to go is up. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to calling all critics of that recent Thundercats man babies while simultaneously listing all the faults of the new Sonic movie, with the number one complaint being their failure to return the legendary Jaleel White as Sonic. Whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't the right picture. <laughs> oh, give me a big fat break!